Hi folks and welcome back to the WTF Garage and uh, today uh, we're starting a sort of a new project or revisiting an old project but uh, it's going to be a new project so to speak. We're all into renewable well, renewable energy and renewables and we are going to be renewing this engine down here the TNA TT10 gas turbine engine generator. Anyhow, let's have a quick look and see what we've got to do with this. Well, here is my TNA TT10 or TNA turbine, which uh, some of you will probably recognize from uh, a couple of my videos from 2014, I think. I think that was the last time we uh, used this engine. And it's been stuck in my garage. Uh, I haven't really used it at all. Uh, and it's been gathering dust and not doing much at all. So, last time I used this, uh, we had a bit of a problem with some electronics on it, and uh, it, I, I literally switched it on, and uh, the electronics went up in a, a puff of smoke, so to speak. Um, anyhow, uh, everything did work on this engine, including the the generator which is a 28 volt generator at quite a few amps, I can't remember how many exactly and uh, it did sort of work but uh, it wasn't 100% I think the regulation was um, not too too good the uh, other issue with this engine is that uh, I, w I really want to try and tidy up the the fuel system, it's got these Bosch injector pumps at the moment which again they do actually work or last time I tried them they were working fine uh, but um, they just did look a bit untidy I just want to see if I can tidy everything up the frame on this engine is also a bit scrappy uh, it's starting to rust so I thought maybe redo this with some stainless steel clean the engine up and just generally make it a bit more presentable now the problem with this engine is that it doesn't have a fuel control system as such. When I was last running it I would simply uh, just use a P use, I would just use a PWM motor controller and adjust the speed depending on the RPM of the engine and uh, that does actually work although it's not really you know it's not really ideal. Uh, trying to get a governor for this engine is quite tricky um, there are a few out there on the original trailers that this thing came with um, but unfortunately I actually just got the bare engine I haven't got the uh, engine control unit or the generator control unit so if anybody's watching this and happens to have a, a spare TNA TT10 engine control unit and generator control unit plus the electrical connectors because that's the other thing that you need then uh, please message me and get in touch because that would certainly make things a lot easier and we can get this engine running how it would have run when it was inside its uh, trailer or trailer unit. So the other thing, the other job we've got to do as well is to try and clean up that starter motor. The starter motor is looking a bit sorry for itself and again I think a lick of paint might do that. And the other thing which we want to try and do as well, this generator again does work but I think what we're going to probably do is remove it and then I'm going to give it to uh, uh, Paul, uh, my friend Ian's brother who is our resident guru for all things AC and uh, inverters and power supplies. He is our expert on all that and I think what we might try and do is what, what he, he has suggested is we take the generator off and bench test it with a, a motor and then see if we can design or build up an appropriate regulator for it. Uh, so yeah that's the uh, that's the plan. Anyhow so first job I'm going to do is try and remove all the old pipe work which shouldn't take too long and then we will um, take it off this old frame 
and then uh, rebuild a new frame and yeah hopefully it should look a lot better I think. This was the original control panel that was on the uh, TNA which was actually bolted or screwed onto the frame and uh, I've actually removed a lot of the electronics on this it was actually looking a, a lot more complicated and this is probably one of the more complicated control engine control panels that I've ever built actually um, so you've got here just to show you um, you've got these meters here which are actually for the generator and I don't know if for some reason they've gone a bit bluey in colour I'm not sure if you can, the camera can pick that up uh, I suppose it's probably because they've been sort of in storage but these um, digital units are quite, quite nice actually especially the EGT because that sort of changes colour as the uh, temperature rises so I might probably use those again and uh, redo this whole uh, control panel but I will do it in a uh, control box with a sort of uh, plug-in lead somewhere uh, using a multi-pin connector I think it just makes things a lot more tidier so quite a lot of work to do on this I think uh, I think we're going to start by first of all taking off all the pipe work and then replacing uh, some of these hoses which I've done already with some steel braided hoses just to make them look a little bit more presentable and uh, yeah I think it'll uh, I think it'll come out quite nicely actually so uh, till we meet again thanks for watching and uh, we'll keep you updated on this uh, little engine project <laughs>